Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales and in this video I'm going to show you how to change a humbucker pickup cover. So I'm going to use a dummy pickup on the right there, you can see which is the gold one we had lying around. And we're going to put a nice new cover on which is going to be nickel. For the purpose of this video I'm actually going to change the pole pieces, give it a totally new look as well. Let's have a look at what you'll need. So you're going to need the, the humbucker obviously. You're going to need a ruler to check that it's actually going to fit. I'm going to use a Stanley knife, is what we call it here in the UK, which is a hard enough knife to actually get the solder free in on the cover. And I'm going to use a very hot solder iron, which is 100 watt. We're going to need a serious bit of temperature here. You'll also need a screwdriver and a file, and obviously your new cover. Now the first step really is, is actually ordering your new cover and checking that it fits. Now we're actually going to measure from the middle of the outer pole piece to the middle of the other outer pole piece. So from the high E to the low E, from the middle of the pole piece to the middle of the pole piece. And you can see here it's 50 millimeters, so 5 centimeters. And I'm going to check that with the new cover. That will make sure that these will actually line up. So when you're ordering your new cover, just make sure you get the correct spacing. As there is a little bit of difference between sort of 50 and 52, some things are in 49.1, etc. Now, if we look at these solder joints, they're actually extremely hard to remove by heating them up. So what I do here very carefully uh, is actually just push down with a Stanley knife. And this is, this is the best way we've found over the years to actually remove that, those two solder joints. It's most likely that you're going to find two solder joints holding it all together. But if there are a couple more, it's the same principle. You just got to be very, very careful not to mark the inner um, or harm the inner coil in any way. Now just push down on them and they will actually just soften up. It's almost impossible to do it by melting. We've tried many many times. Now once you've got the cover off it is a good idea to use a gauge or just a ruler to actually measure where the pull pieces were because you may want to restore them to exactly where it was prior to changing the pickup cover. People change pickup covers for various reasons, give it a new look, uh, maybe it's going in guitar. Like here, an example here is that, you know, we're actually changing a gold one to um, a nickel effect, perhaps going in a different guitar. So I'm actually uh, removing, I've removed the pole pieces and now I'm going to put the new pole pieces in, which are nickel ones. I'm going to get them pretty far down. And if you've taken note of where they were to start with, then you'd be easily able to return them. So I'm just going to get them in roughly for now. Although actually that does look like a little bit of a stagger. And then we'll just dry fit our cover to see if it all lines up and it does. We do have another video on pull piece height set and check that out guys. It's always worth subscribing to our channel because there's lots of videos on height set and pickup pick up setting and so on. Okay, so we have got another video to show you that. Now I was just pointing in that shot there that we've actually got an existing solder joint now on the bottom of our pickup which we can use. But I want you to imagine that you're installing a cover onto a pickup which has never had a cover on it. Okay, so what you'll find is that solder won't take to bare steel that hasn't been filed in some way. So what we're going to do is just look at the part of the pickup which is between the D and the G and holding the base plate on a 45 degree angle, I'm just using a, 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 a bare base plate here for purposes, we're going to file away a little part of it in between the D and the G on both sides so that the solder will take. As you can see on our existing pickup, it's not a problem. We have original solder which we can actually reheat now when we come to install. And on this cover, if we were using it again, then we would have the original solder on that. So you would find that you don't need a lot of solder to actually do the rest of the job. Now this is the cover we're putting on. It's never been on a pickup, so it doesn't have any existing solder area. So again, we want you to identify the area that corresponds to between the D and the G. So just have a little look on this side. So halfway in between those two pull pieces, we're going to file at the top of the cover we're going to file in between those two areas and just score away because this will enable the solder to take. If you don't do this, it becomes almost impossible because solder just doesn't really want to take to sort of like a bare area. Now, once we've done that again, let's dry fit everything up and make sure that everything corresponds. Where you've actually filed away will correspond now with that solder joint. Now a little note on the solder I'm using, it is 6040 lead tin split, which is very, very good solder and it, it just does the job. 
Now, what I'm doing now, I've got my soldering eye armature. Again, it's the 100 watt variety, very, very powerful, and it will do the job for this. You can possibly get away with it with a, with a lower power one, but it just won't do the job as well. And I'm just going to place in the solder iron around about sort of 45 degree near where the joint is going to be and just feed in, in some solder there and it will all drip into place and give you a very, very solid joint. And that, guys, is how to change your cover or perhaps even install a new cover. That's the finished pickup now. Uh, we'd love it if you'd head over to our website and check out our new pickups. Um, it's radioshoppickups.com. And also, if you get a chance, hit subscribe and obviously enjoy your new humbucker look or your new humbucker covers. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again.